You're getting a taste of London. The spotlight shines on a chef who was born in Wandsworth, United Kingdom, was educated in the most prestigious schools in the area, and has apprenticed and experienced culinary positions in various parts of Europe. He then fell in love with a Filipina and since then came to the Philippines 12 years ago. He is currently the general manager and executive chef of Yachts International Group of Companies, the biggest wine seller in Southeast Asia. On Secret to the Masters, we have Chef Philip John Golding. The province of Pampanga is slowly becoming a foodie haven. With a dining scene that this amazing chef created at the Yachts Wine Club in Clark Field, it has made a name for itself that Filipino diners continue to enjoy. We have the biggest uh, wine collection in, in Southeast Asia, actually the most exclusive wine collection in, in Southeast Asia. And he knows uh, very good how to pair the, the food with the wines. And, uh, He's very proud of that. How he was able to make it here in the Philippines sounds more like a fairy tale. Chef Philip, he, he began his life in the Philippines. Strangely enough, he met his wife in England while they were working. Uh, she was a, a waitress or, or a maitre d' that was working with Chef Philip. And she had a bit of an accident one day, slipped over on the floor. And Chef Philip actually come to the rescue like a knight in shining armour in his white coat and helped her and since that day they've, uh, they've been a hot item. After college I went to England, I took up restaurant management um, and while I was in school I did some training in the same hotel uh, where he was working as head chef and after that mm, we got married. He met the woman of his dreams in England where he was born. As a boy, a part of his uh, home chores was to actually cook food for his family. It inspired him a lot to actually become a chef, and that's, that's how he started. He was already chef patron of a 60-seat Mediterranean cafe in the British capital when his adventure sense took over and he suddenly packed his bags for the Philippines. Philip is not just a cook. We all know that he has a very outstanding talent, but he has a very good business sense. He has a business acumen that not all chefs have. Not only that, I see in him a very big heart. For 12 years now, he made a name for himself here. And today, he is considered to be one of the feistiest, most inventive, and most ingenious businessman and world-class chef. On Secrets of the Masters, we have Chef Philip John Golding. Secrets of the Masters. I wanted to go like Cheerio or something like that, but welcome to the Philippines. You've been here for 12 years now. That's correct. Yeah. And it's really because of a Filipina who captured your heart. Yeah, Charlene, yeah. Uh, she slipped on my kitchen floor. I heard. In London, yeah. <laughs> and you caught her. Yes. Literally. Well, I didn't actually catch her. I picked her up. Yeah, <laughs> I picked her up. Yeah. And so, since then, that's what brought then, you here. Yeah, I, we came here, and uh, she runs. Um, uh, she's with Aha. She she handles hospitality, the service side, and I'm down there in Pampanga. Yeah, with her and two boys. Okay, so what are you preparing for us tonight? Is it going to be a Filipino kind of thing, or you're bringing your English roots? This is. I uh, basically my career started in Paris, in France. So I spent time out there. So we'll be doing a a, a very comfort warming French onion soup with. Mm. Parmesan and Gruyere, nice. and then we'll be moving on to a kangaroo salad. That yeah. should be interesting. So, um, with uh, uh, some organic leaves, which are grown up where we are from, and uh, we'll be moving on to a coco riesling, which is a sweet wine uh, from Germany, and basically the chicken is organic as well. Okay. So we're we'll braising that down, and we'll finish with something that's warm to my heart, which is a, a bread and butter pudding. Uh, El mode, yeah. Also, it's very, yeah. very English. Yeah. Well, it's nice to see that we're going to have something very, very traditional and pretty much authentic here tonight. Absolutely. So we won't prolong it anymore. Chef Philip, take it in the kitchen, please. Thank you very much. Shall we start with our onions? Um, Chef Dong's with, been with me a few years now, so he'll be helping me out here. When we slice the onions, onions back to forth. So, so we'll start with the onions in there. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of garlic. We've got about 500 grams of white onion in there. We're going to sauté that down with some uh, colour. 
and then we're going to add a little bit of garlic in there. What we'll do is we'll speed up the process. So we cut our French bread. What we're going to do is start this stove here a little bit with some oil in. And we're going to toast these. You can, once we've toasted it, got it crispy, we're then going to add a little bit of white sauce on top, which is made with butter and flour and milk. And then when you add cheese on into the white sauce, it's normally called a Mornay sauce. And then I had some of these herbs. Okay, back to the onions. Mm -hmm. Taking a little bit of time here. So what we'll do also is we'll speed up our broth already. We'll heat that up, our stock. We'll heat that up already. We'll add a bay leaf. And we'll add a little bit more thyme in there. At this stage, I'm just gonna add some seasoning into the onions. You don't wanna season them immediately? No, I let it cook down first, because the salt will drag, now the salt will start to drag out the uh, liquids in here. At this stage. Wow. Red wine. That's a lot of wine. Okay. So our cheese croutes are nearly there in the oven. Any browns? Okay, I think that's good enough. Huh? Right. Okay, into there. Stock. Stock's in. At this stage, we're going to add a little bit of a modern ingredient, not traditionally known, but I'm going to add a touch of soya sauce in there. That's the Asian kick. It's the Asian kick, yeah? Yes. So, brought it, it up to the boil. Wonderful. I'm going to remove my bay leaf at this time. Okay, so we finish off with a little bit of oregano on top. We had some thyme earlier. So there we have French onion soup with our Parmesan Gruyere croute and a little bit of fresh oregano on top. It's quite a rich soup. It is. I like that there's a very, very meaty quality to the to the broth. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, it doesn't overwhelm the taste of the onions because it's what naturally sweetens the soup. You could use a, a fontina or a pravoloni, which is also some other cheese variations. Um, if you have mozzarella, okay, it's not traditional, but yeah, And uh, though you only put a hint of it, I do taste it. The soy sauce. The soy sauce. Does add a little, just a little, little Asian kick. That's uh, not uh, the, like the usual onion soup. And of course, uh, with my last taste for that one, I do want to try the red wine, which is so fragrant, by the way. That we, uh, this has been a very fast moving in the cellars. Uh, of course, we have these small bottles for single diners. Perfect. Glad you enjoyed the pairing. Yeah. Okay. And I think that we'll be having more of this tonight. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be selfish. Bring out the hot soup for the audience. Our tummies are just getting heated up. Up next, we have a salad dish with kangaroo prepared by Chef Philip John Golding. Only here on Secrets of the Masters. John Golding. Earlier on, he prepared a very yummy and delicate French onion soup. Now we're moving on to a, to a salad course, and this time it's spiced up with kangaroo. <laughs> uh, we sell a lot of this up in Pampanga. Um, I used to use a lot of ostrich, but then uh, I moved on to kangaroo. We import this stuff. It sells like uh, um, sells extremely well on the menu. Going to cut it into little noisettes. Touch of olive oil. Touch of freshly milled black pepper some sea salt. Here we have a little homemade rub of Cajun spice, just a light. And Dong's gonna saute for that for me, nice and pink. It'll take about 45 seconds each side. So we've got some portobello mushrooms here. Okay. Very earthy, goes very well with the kangaroo. What we're going to do 